it's the afternoon of January 5th. Just got settled in here. It's a long walk into the spot. I can see a few deer way off in the timber. Just kind of melt. Looks like a big group of does. Got a little bit more snow last night. Doesn't really look like there's any tracks out here in this plot, but hopefully something will walk walk through. Um, five days left in the season, so getting down to crunch time. Um, I've talked about this before. I've hunted this spot a couple times this late season. It's a cool spot. I just think there's a lot of pressure around. Um, I've had issues with guys coming in here doing deer drives and pheasant hunting and all that. So typical first year property things uh, trying to deal with, but hopefully the deer aren't too messed up and we'll have a good hunt tonight. There's one buck that I think I would shoot. I have not seen him in person. No history with him other than a few trail cam pictures this late season. He looks to be mature, not real big, but uh, looks to be a mature deer. He'd be a it'd be a game time decision. I'd want to see him in person, but he's been in this plot on occasion, pretty irregular, unfortunately. But he has been in here in daylight. So we'll see how the night goes. Feels good to be in a tree and kind of enjoy these last few sets of the season.
มะมะless than ideal. <laughs> he just didn't stop long enough and where he did stop I would have had to put my seat down and shoot underneath this branch. Show you what it looks like. Now oh, here's where he stopped. I would have had to sit down and shoot underneath this and he just didn't stop long enough for me to do that. It's crazy, I don't even know what deer that is. It's just a solid mature buck and I haven't had a single deer within 200 yards of me. All afternoon, he walks into 25 just by himself. He was a good deer too. <sighs> you self film long enough and eventually it's gonna get you. The setup is just not ideal for one person. When I originally hung this stand, I had a cameraman in mind for sure is where the hunter the hunters kind of tucked in right here but because of all the whys I had to put the camera arm up high and so that obviously doesn't allow me to film and then also sit down and shoot underneath this branch just not ideal that's all all it comes down to I was hoping we get lucky and make it work and I think I would have been able to if he didn't stop right there or if he would have just stopped and fed a little bit more, but he grabbed one turn up and that was it. And he was gonna just walk on out of here. There's a, a lot of the deer have been moving that direction, the direction he was going, but like I said, they're in all kinds of different spots. He was the only deer that's come from this direction, only deer on this side of the creek. And it just didn't work out. I had to, it was a Hail Mary trying to stop him, thinking he'd actually stop long enough for me to get drawn back, but that's how it goes when you're by yourself. It's, uh, it's always a gamble, but man, what a cool encounter. Still got plenty of daylight left, hopefully. Another mature buck shows up, wishful thinking for sure, but you never know.
Well, as you can see, it got dark on me there, so I figured I'd wrap it up at the truck quick. First of all, hard to complain about a night like that. Um, you know, hike way back in there in a little secluded plot way back in the timber and have two mature bucks coming to bow range that I didn't expect is, I mean, that's hard to beat. That's, that's pretty sweet. Um, that first buck I didn't know and the second buck, like I said, wasn't very regular, so I didn't expect to see him um, necessarily. As far as them getting away, that's a different story. Uh, it's just so hard to explain <clears throat> unless someone was in the tree with me or uh, you, you've self-filmed before and kind of understand the circumstances, but that tree is just not ideal. It wasn't set for self-filming with the branches the way they are. And there's definitely spots where I can shoot, but I'm relying on the deer to stop um, somewhat naturally in those gaps because you just can't get away with much late season. No cover on the trees, the deer are already pressured. Um, you just can't get away with, you know, stopping them and them being somewhat relaxed. So that first buck, you know, if he was, if he was coming to that plot to feed and just stick around, I probably would have got a shot at some point, but he had somewhere else he wanted to be and, and moved on pretty quickly. And like I, like you saw, I did, try to stop him uh, knowing full well it likely wasn't going to work out the second buck which was a buck i was more t more targeting just a old mature uh, i think you know maybe was a nine and broke off one time but he came in a little bit later and again same thing <clears throat> i could have sat down had i had a cameraman i got to watch him come i could have been seated ready to shoot him underneath that branch or could have stopped him earlier standing either way but when you had the camera in the mix blocking one of my lanes and uh you know not being able to stand and film and sit and shoot sit and shoot especially with as many deer that filed in at that point it just made it so tough so i just waited and waited and waited and finally he did get into one of my shooting lanes and i did i drew back just to see if i could see through my peep uh and it was just it was just too dark <clears throat> to to risk a shot there so you know i let down and deer kind of worked off and i snuck out of there but um you know a little bit frustrating having two mature bucks get away in the same night but at the same time uh pretty incredible hunt to have that happen especially on a, a pressured spot like that so a um, few days left I'm gonna stay after it you know this is probably gonna be where I'm gonna focus most of my time from here to the end of the season I think this is my best chance at a mature buck uh, with the bow to close it out so uh, we'll see if I can get back after one of those two